Alice, I here. I have a neighbor here in Prineville and he brought me this drawing and he would like me to make this for him. It says Flight Feather Creations and it has a flight feather there and it says author and wood artist. And so he is all of those things and he wants me to make like a little plaque for him. And so I'm gonna do that. He gave me a few different kinds of wood and this is the one that he wants to use for the lettering. So I'm just gonna put some tape on there and glue the letters to this and then come out. I'm gonna use this Loctite spray and I usually buy the multi-purpose, but I couldn't find it so I got the high performance and the multi-purpose is so much better than this one. This one is just, uh, you have to wait or it won't work and uh, the multi-purpose just you spray it, let it sit for just like a minute or so and then this one has to sit like 10 minutes. <sighs> but it's all I have so. This is why I'm not a fan of the high performance lock type. Even after following the instructions, it still wasn't sticking. Okay, that's just a flapping away, so I'm going to use glue stick. feels like it's nice and tight or stuck. Let's try it down here. And believe it or not, it held just fine with the glue stick glue. I forgot to tell you that I was asked to try some masks out. They are called Protect Life masks. And so I had forgotten my RZ mask down at the house and somebody said, why don't you have some of these disposable masks on hand? And this company contacted me. I'm like, yeah, I'll try these out. So I'm gonna try these out. And I suppose I should put that one on, but I really don't want to. And then this company also, Pro For Show, they have these lightweight earmuffs and they asked me to check them out. So I'm doing that too. Yeah. So I started cutting out each of the letters, but I wanted to tell you that each of the companies has given me a coupon code. The Pro Show Earmuffs has a 10% discount if you use the code Psy Corner, and the Mask People Protect Life will give you a 30% discount if you use the coupon code ProLife30. I'm putting that information in the description box below, so if you wanna check them out, just click away. And now back to the project. It came to mind that it would be a lot easier to cut out the inner parts of the letters before they were little tiny things that I couldn't hold on to. So I drilled holes so that I could thread the blade. Then after cutting out the inside parts, I cut out the letters. Then I worked on the flight feather. I removed the tape and it was quite the chore to get the blue tape off of those little pieces. Then I used the pneumatic drum sander to shape the feather a bit. Notice my sandpaper is too long. I ordered the wrong length, but it still works just fine. Now all the pieces are together and I can work on doing some hand sanding. I used 100 grit to do some final shaping and then used 150 grit and 220 grit to sand everything smooth. Gibbs came to visit me for a bit and Wally did too. I also used my little red files to fix up the letters where they were kind of wonky. Richard brought me these little crosses that he made and he asked if one could go up in the upper corner up here. And so I'm gonna be putting that there for him. 
He said it's made out of Paduk. Richard brought me a piece of birch plywood that he had prepared for me, so I transferred everything to it and started gluing it all down. Richard if he had a Bible verse that he would like me to put on the back and he said he would like Isaiah 40 31. It says, but the people who trust the Lord will become strong again. They will rise up as an eagle in the sky. They will run and not need rest. They will walk and not become tired. Then I also put my logo on the back too. Well, the project's all finished and Richard came over to pick it up. So this is Richard, and this was his design, and he is the author wood artist. There you go. <laughs> there you it's go. beautiful, beautiful. Well, thank you. I love it. Good, I'm glad. It's very good. <laughs> good. You did a great job. Oh, thanks, Richard. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you, too. <sighs> I, will, I will display it proudly. All right, nice. Good, all right. <laughs> so that was Richard, and... That was the project. <laughs> so I'm so glad that he liked it so much and he said he's gonna make a business card out of a photograph of it so that everything that he has for his little hobby is all the same. So thanks for joining me everybody and we'll see you next time. Bye!